I love sports. I love football. I, uh, it's sad. Super Bowl is here. Yeah, no, I don't get me to say that. We, I am not a Packers fan. I, oh gosh. I, uh, okay. Well, <laughs> everyone's been so nice. Until, We're not in the Super Bowl. We're going to hate everybody. <laughs> We deserve to be there, except that the 49ers are probably a little better because they showed that during the season. They showed that, but we still were deserve it. Skull! <laughs> I'm a Bears fan, so you can all hate me. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's easy to hate someone when their team is beating you four times in a row. Uh, uh, it's true. I'm just saying truths. You guys played your second string. You didn't have to. If you wanted to not have the situation, you could have played your starters last game of the season, and you didn't do that. Sure, you get to win a playoff game, but you don't get to confront me about that. We won a regular season game that didn't matter. Enjoy your playoff victory. I love, I love baseball, I love football. I love watching football, but I don't like going to bars because people are just screaming at the team, like, I can't believe he dropped that pass. I just want to be like, he's being chased. <laughs> By the strongest and fastest humans ever. <laughs> and once he touches it, they're going to assault him. <laughs> So that's probably why he didn't hold on to that one. You can't believe he dropped that bat. I dropped my phone before because it rang. I'm on my phone, not using it as a telephone, just like whatever. All of a sudden it starts ringing like, oh, I forgot I did that. Oh no. Oh, I gotta change the ringtone to something calmer like by the seaside. I just think if you're going to criticize someone in public, you should also maybe, you maybe you'll enjoy yelling out one of your own flaws as well. That's it. Right? Right? Like, I can't believe he dropped that pass. Sometimes, sometimes, I lie to my wife about how late I have to work. Sometimes. So I don't have to put the kids to the bed. Then we learn about him. Like, oh, he needs nannies or maybe a new couch to sleep on. We don't know. I just think it's hard. It's just hard to judge an athlete because like it's not just their job to do their job, okay? They also have to make sure the other guy on the other side of the ball fails. Like it's only their job to succeed if that guy doesn't do his job and it's that guy's job to make sure he doesn't do his job. And that's a lot of pressure. Can you imagine if all of our jobs were like that? You just see the mailman walking up to your house. All of a sudden, he's just tackled by a UPS guy. <laughs> Comes down from the roof like, not today, buddy! <laughs> Chest bumps the Culligan man. Yeah, we privatized delivery in this cul-de-sac. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I'm Michael Palasek. I appreciate it. Thanks. Give it going for Michael Palasek, everybody. Let him hear it.